Let us solve a question on utility problem. This question was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of Econmaths. The question is like this. Suppose the consumer has following utility function u x y is equal to x to the power uh, 1 upon 3 into y to the power 1 upon 2 where x and y denote the two goods. What would be the share of income spent on good x and good y respectively? So we have to find out the income share on both the goods okay so options are this option uh, means that consumer is spending three fifth of his income on good x and two fifth on good y and similarly we have one third on x one third uh, uh, one half on y and these are the given options okay so we need to see which of these options is correct okay so <clears throat> what we are being given here we are being given the utility function u let me write it only u here okay for the sake of simplicity i could have written as x y it is being assumed that it is the function of x and y here so utility function is x to the power 1 upon 3 y to the power 1 upon 2 okay now if this is the utility function let's denote uh, the budget constraint for the consumer also let us say price uh, p subscript x denotes price of good x into units of good x okay plus price of good y into units of good y should be equal to income okay if this is the utility function so consumer will face this type of budget constraint okay so let me write it here capital x that is problem okay so we have this very function and subject to this budget constraint okay we assume price of good x is px then i uh, price of good x into units of uh, good x uh, plus price of y times units of good y should be equal to the income okay simple thing now we know uh, the utility maximization uh, requires uh, what we have the tangency condition we can use the Langridge's method here but uh, we can also use the tangency condition okay so first order condition for uh, optimization first order condition uh, for uh, optimization or maximization maximization will require that marginal rate of substitution between good x y should be equal to the ratio of their prices that means price of x upon price of y okay simple thing now what is marginal rate of substitution it is simply marginal utility of good x upon marginal utility of good y should be equal to price of x upon price of good y okay so let's and graph this out also so how can we show let us say we have uh, good x on this axis good y on this axis okay we have a budget constraint uh, we have a budget constraint okay and this point you notice uh, m upon price of x okay at this point consumer will consume all units of uh, good x and this the other intercept will be m upon p y i have explained this in uh, so many videos okay so i don't need to explain it here in detail okay now this is our budget constraint tangency condition requires that uh, our indifference curve what is uh, this utility it, function it is actually the indifference curve it should be tangent to the budget constraint okay let me draw it here okay so uh, to get the optimal pointers our budget constraint should be tangent to indifference curve okay this is the condition and uh, that means uh, the marginal rate of substitution this point is actually where our marginal rate of substitution between good x y is equal to price of x upon price of y okay so now what is marginal uh, utility of good x marginal utility of good x let me write it here okay marginal utility of good x means taking partial derivative of our utility function with respect to good x okay so if we take partial derivative of this function 
so uh, our choice variable is x here so the derivative of x to the power 1 upon 3 will be simply this 1 upon 3 will become coefficient here okay we have x then this exponent will be subtracted by 1 so our exponent is 1 upon 3 if it is uh, subtracted by 1 you can go x follow 3 that is 2 upon 3 simple cut. so this is uh, actually minus 2 upon 3 okay minus 2 upon 3 and we have y 1 upon 2 also okay and what is marginal utility of good y same stuff marginal utility utility of good y will be equal to the partial derivative of our utility function with respect to y this time okay so uh, since our variable is this here so the coefficient will uh, sorry exponent will become coefficient so i will write here 1 upon 3 then we have x 1 upon 3 we don't need to do anything with this because we are partially differentiating with y then we have y this exponent will be subtracted by 1 by power function rule of differentiation so 1 upon 2 minus 1 is minus 1 upon 2 okay then uh, if we use this very relation now marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y so marginal utility of x is 1 upon 3 x minus 2 upon 3 y 1 upon 2 divided by marginal utility of y is 1 upon 2 sorry okay here we have 1 upon 2 so we have 1 upon 2 x uh, to the power 1 upon 3 y to the power minus 1 upon 2 should be equal to price of x upon price of y okay okay we have x to the power 1 upon 3 here x to the power minus 2 upon 3 here if i transpose this term to the denominator it will get multiplied with this x and the exponent sign will change okay simple thing similarly if i transpose this term to denom to numerator it will get multiplied with this y and exponent sign will change okay so what actually we will get here so we will get 1 upon 3 we have y if i transpose we have a y 1 upon 2 into y when i transpose this it will become plus 1 upon 2 so bases are same here so we have 1 y 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 we can add up the exponent is or to or go up so this is y is to the power 1 so i will get 1 okay in place of y so this stuff will apply here divide by we have 1 upon 2 similarly uh, we have x to the power 1 upon t x to the power 1 upon 3 when i transpose this term it will get multiplied okay uh, with this so we have x to the power minus 2 upon 3 exponent sign gets changed it is minus 2 upon 3 it will become plus 2 upon 3 bases are same we can add up the exponent so we have x 1 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 okay since denominator is same we can add up the numerator so we have x octus okay, 3 so this is 3 upon 3 okay so x to the power 1 is equal to x okay we have x should be equal to price of x upon price of y now if i write it uh, 1 upon 3 so this will become 1 upon 3 so we have 1 upon 3 divided by 1 upon 2 this will become 1 upon 3 uh, so if i transpose it to the numerator it will get reciprocated it will become 2 upon 3 okay sorry this is 2 upon 1 so this whole stuff becomes 2 upon 3 so we have here 2 upon 3 when i divide these two i will get 2 upon 3 y upon x is equal to price of x upon price of y okay solving for y so i will write it here so y will be equal to uh, if i transpose this term to rhs it will get reciprocated and 
here okay so this will become 3 upon 2 we have here price of x upon price of y into x okay i hope you know how to do this it is very simple now plug this value y is equal to this stuff in our budget constraint so we have price of x price of x into x plus price of y into the value of y is uh, 3 upon 2 uh, price of x upon price of y then we have x okay so should be equal to m okay here this py and this py will get cancelled we are left with px uh, into x plus 3 by 2 px into x so we have px into x plus 3 px into x upon 2 should be equal to m okay so ab kya mitaye hum so doing multiplication so since uh, 2 px so this will become 2 px into x plus 3 px into x upon 2 should be equal to m so since the base uh, since the, these are the like terms we can add them so 2 px x plus 3 px x will be equal to that is again power 5 p x into x upon 2 should be equal to m or our x will be equal to x will be equal to so we have m here if i transpose 5 upon 2 it will become 2 upon 5 okay and we have also uh, px here okay p x price of good x and this two this denotes our income this 2 by 5 denotes our share of share of income spent spent on good x okay so for good x we will spend 2 upon 5 so this option is correct now for to get uh, the value of what is the share of income for good y just plug this value in our budget constraint again so we have uh, price of x into the value of x is this 2 upon 5 m upon px okay plus py upon y should be equal to m okay so this gets cancelled we are left with i can write it like this py upon y is equal to m transposing this term here so this is minus 2m upon 5 so for you uh, doing some basic um, multiplication 5m minus 2m is 3m okay pass m minus m is 3m but a 5 so py into y is equal to this or let me write it here or our y is equal to uh, 3 upon 5 m transposing this py it will get divided so this 3 upon 5 shows a share of income spend on good y so this is our 3 upon 5 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you